of content, but it's not the golden age of revenue sharing that we can. Because uh, uh, ESVOD gave us a fantastic opportunity. They are, they were, they are challenging us, okay? And there are shows that maybe they would never be on here, or a market that audience they cannot be attracted. Or maybe we believe that it was totally uh, let's say not anymore kind of attracted by a series or by a movie or by you know. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I believe that uh, if you want really, let's say, to continue to create value, it would be smart if uh, you leave part of, let's say, the value creation to the talent and the producer that they create this value. Like it is in the music business, like it is in the publishing business. So I think that uh, uh, it's not fair okay, to, to ask a uh, uh, talent or creative and say, give me everything. Uh. We have some forms of entertainment that come from the United States. For example, That's My Jam. Um, que es un formato de Jimmy Fallon, son juegos musicales de, que vienen extraídos de, de segmentos de The Tonight Show. Este, es un formato muy divertido, es muy cálido, es muy desopilante, es desestructurado y creo, creemos que es uno de los formatos que es lo que el mercado está buscando. Un lugar para distenderse, divertirse con celebridades en estudio en donde los juegos musicales son, eh, digamos, de alguna manera todo sale un poco mal, ¿no? Hay que a, a cantar en karaoke y si no recuerdas la letra te, te tira el agua encima, cosas así. En este caso y en este 2022 traemos un estreno súper importante para TV Azteca que es Lotería del Crimen, una serie de 24 episodios que estrenamos la semana pasada en México y... Eh, Principalmente es el estreno más importante que estamos hoy trayendo a MIPCOM. Y bueno, TV Azteca tiene este eh, retorno tan importante a la ficción. Eh, Adrián Ortega está tomando eh, la dirección general de contenidos, este, lo cual nos entusiasma de una manera importante porque eh, estamos trabajando arduamente en toda esta generación de nuevos contenidos de ficción y de telenovelas en donde TV Azteca regresa eh, mucho más fuerte y con mucho más contenidos para la audiencia y para la distribución internacional. Very busy year for Hey Million. Um, in general, I think that's the uh, tendency for all the companies after the pandemic. Everyone is really happy to be back and the first day at MIPCOM was uh, really busy for us. Um, we are trying to meet our existing clients just to, to catch up and to see how they have been and also to meet new clients, potential clients. Uh, for us it's very important to be in contact, to know the projects and uh, the future plans of our clients so that we understand how we can best um, cater to their needs. We are here today Ken, uh, with our format Exatlon, also a Turkish drama. Uh, Exatlon has been in the world the last five years and has been successful in the, all the countries. It has been uh, on air. Uh, Exatlon is a sportive reality show. Uh, it's just uh, combined sports with the reality, which is uh, the real reality, I can call it. Uh, or uh, I can call it football for women uh, because uh, it has the elements of simple race plus uh, the reality. You know, in the world, uh, women are always uh, not concentrated to many sports because of the complex and confusion of the rules and everything. Uh, in Exatlon uh, you can see uh, a, a parkour style of uh, game and uh, easy to follow and of course uh, entertaining to watch. Uh, so I can say that our format is one of a kind and uh, our production hub is in Dominican Republic. Uh, like we have 2000 people there, uh, we are making production for 15 countries happy to say that we are one of the biggest uh, production company in the world. We've had a very successful uh, co-production model in uh, the Middle East market. We have so far produced five in the last uh, four years. Uh, we have three co-productions on the floor. Uh, most of them, actually all of them are uh, our own scripts, uh, scripted uh, formats. 
wherein the key difference is that we co-fund these productions so it is not just a sale of a fiction script or a fiction format we believe in our stories and we help co-producers we uh, encourage in fact you know and uh, fuel the market to have co-producers come up uh, invest their time and energy and of course a bit of money and we we co-produce and we fund between 30 to 70 percent so that's the interesting part of our co-production so somebody did ask me you know okay you're asking me for a script and a buy do you believe in your own content that's it. that's where we believe in and that's where we are putting in the money along with y'all so that's been the biggest uh, you know for this particular market that's what we're looking at